Hello everybody. In this Python Pandas tutorial, we're going to go over a few different ways that you can add, delete, and split your data frame columns. The first thing we did here is we went ahead and imported Pandas. Next, we created data frame 1. Let's go ahead and take a look. You'll notice that we have three columns, A, B, and C. Let's go ahead and add a column D. To do that, we reference data frame 1. Then, in square brackets and quotes, we put column D. Then we assign our values. So if we select this and run it, and then take another look at data frame 1, you can see that column D has been added. Let's go ahead and add another column, column E. But in this case, we want column E to be columns A and B added together. So, once again, to add that column, we reference data frame 1. Put in E, then we assign data frame 1 column A plus data frame 1 column B. Let's run it and let's take a look. Okay, so here we have column E, and you'll notice that's A and B added together. 1 and 6 is 7, 2 and 7 is 9, and so on. Now let's go to the pandas documentation real quick. And we just wanted to show you that there's other ways to create new columns. Like in this example, they have created a column flag using column one here, and they set some criteria greater than two, which returns trues and falses based on that criteria. Okay? So we just wanted to point that out to show you there's all different kinds of ways to create new columns. Let's go back to our code. Okay, so here we showed two simple examples of how you can add a new column. However, this does not always work. So let's show you an example of where you might need to do something different. We've gone ahead here and created data frame 2. Let's take a look. You'll notice we have the same columns, A, B, and C. However, here we have the index row labels A through E. Now, if we create a series like this, and we try and add it to data frame 2, it's not going to turn out the way we think. Okay, so let's go ahead and create column D, and let's assign this series. So let's select all this code and run it, and take a look. So this was our data before, and we tried to add column D here, but you'll notice that we get NANs. Now the problem is that in this index, we put in a list 1 through 5. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so these were the values we wanted 16 through 20, but notice that the index row labels are A through E, but the series index labels are 1 through 5, so they don't match. Now to fix that, we can use this series. So instead of this index, we're going to use our original data frame 2 index. And to do that, we use data frame 2.index. Okay, so instead of new column 1, that was this data with the index that did not match, let's go ahead and assign new column 2, which is this data with the index that matches. Okay? Let's go ahead and run it, take a look, and you can see we have added column D using this series data. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Normally, you can add new columns like this. However, that does not always work, and we've seen that with this example here, where the indexes did not match. And when they did not match, we got not a number of values. Okay? Next up, let's go over a few different ways that you can delete a column. We're going to use data frame 2. And the first way we're going to delete a column is we're going to use the delete keyword, D-E-L, data frame 2, column D. Let's run it. And you can see that deleted column D. 
Let's go ahead and add column D back. Next, let's use pop to delete the column. And here's the information for pop. So we just use dataframe2.pop, put in D. Let's run it. And let's take a look. And we can see column D is gone. Once again, let's add that back. And the last way that we're going to delete column D uses drop. So here's the information for drop. And in this case, we're going to use df2.drop. Put in the name of the column you want to drop for axis 1. Axis 1 is for columns. And we want that change to happen in place. Let's run it. And we can see that deleted column D. Next up, let's use assign to insert a column. So here is the information for assign. We're going to go ahead and assign this to a new variable. And to use assign, we use dataframe3.assign. We're going to put in column D and then assign our values. So here's data frame three. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's copy our new variable. And here is our new output where we have added column D. Next up, let's use insert. And what we want to do here is we want to insert some values right here before column A. Okay, so to do that, we use data frame four, which is this data here, dot insert, and you'll notice we put in the location, the column name, and the values. So let's go ahead and run it, and let's take a look at the new output. Okay, so you can see we put in column double A before this column with the values of zero. Next up, let's go over how you can split a column. So here we have data frame five. Let's go ahead and take a look. And we have one column, but let's say that we wanted to split this column into the counties and then another column for the states. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is reference our data frame five. Then in the square brackets, we wanna reference our column then we're going to use a dot string dot split, and then we want to split it on the comma. Let's go ahead and run it and take a look and see what we get so far. So using this code and using the string split, this is what we get. Next up, we want to use the indexes from this list to assign these values to their new columns. Here, we have created the county column. So we reference data frame five, we create the new column name, then we use data frame five split, this data here, dot string, and we wanna get the first index. So that would be zero, and that would be the county names. This would be one, and this would be the state names. Okay, so you'll notice for the state column, we did the same thing as we did for the county column. The only difference is we used index one. Let's clear our console. Let's take a look at data frame five. And this is what we have. Now let's run this. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the new output for data frame five. So we kept our original column, then we use that column, and we have two new columns that split this column into county and state. Okay, that's all we have for this Python Pandas tutorial. Join us again next time.